I think we need to basically go a little bit back and think about why did we move before. We were motivated because we want to survive and we need it otherwise we would die. Now we are moving because we want to for pleasure. We, we want to have fun, we, we love to do it. And uh, the body is basically really, really lazy and he, the body is telling you don't move. And because they want, the body needs to save energy and uh, use it in, in, a, in an emergency, basically. So we need to motivate the body to really do it. We need a reason. And before, it was, the reason was to survive. And we need to find that reason today. And that reason could be totally different for individual. So it could be for one person is that it's a social thing. For another person, it's like a sport. And for some others, it's maybe health issue. We need to find that, so we need to come up with a lot of solutions. It's not a one thing. If you go for spinning, it's a good training, but it's not um, for the whole body in a sense, because you are just on a bike who is still. It's not really not out in the nature, you're not really a balance. It's just 30% of your skills. So I think that it's important to basically figure out how can I physically trained my brain and my eyes and everything at the same time. If you are working with kids and you have a child, you can, there's a lot of things you can do at the same time. For example, if I want to teach my kids how to uh, read or use uh, or learn the letters or something, let's say I would go out with my kid and we will have 20 minutes and I would make a game with my kid because kids love games and if we are playing human beings, we don't notice that we are actually going to get physical active. So I think games is the best thing. So if you tell your kid, we're going for 20 minutes on a bicycle, I'm going to teach you how to ride a bike, and we're going to go around the neighborhood, and we're going to look for signs to learn different letters. So we would go out, and we're going to find a word, and like, toot, 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 we're going to find this long word, and we would go, and certainly we go on a bicycle with helmet, we look left and right, we learn about traffic, we learn about the neighborhood. We would go out <clears throat> and we find suddenly, wow, there's a K over there, and we write K. And after 20 minutes when we come home, is, is the word kangaroo. So we would do 20 kangaroo jumps in the garden when we are finished. In the evenings I take books and read books about kangaroos. They come from Australia, so my, my child learns certainly ah, about the globe. So I think you need to involve your life into movement and learning by kind of is with the game. So that you don't realize you basically are moving or you are learning. This is the best technique that you can ever use uh, in my mind because um, if you do it for the purpose because you really want to get six packs, it's, it's basically wrong. It should come automatically as a bonus because you're doing something, not the reason why you're doing it. So in my mind, come up with games that people don't realize and would enjoy. That is our goal.